Howard. Not we're, David. We're, 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 Everyone's I, calling me David, Rob. What is that about? That's a Jew name. <laughs> I can't talk so good because because my Jew dentist got my teeth. And he will not release them to my custody until I pay him. <laughs> All right. Now you have made. Um, you have also been accused of being anti-Semitic. Now, how do you answer these charges? Mm -mm -mm. First of all, I ain't angry with the Jews. Mm -hmm. I just think they should be horse whipped <laughs> and wiped off the face of this earth. All right. Now you say you're not angry with them, though. But 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 you say so many evil things. I can't even believe the evil things you're saying. That was he said before. What, well, what are some of your stands? Well, but well, 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 I had to don't really understand. But I was just thinking about Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, the, the president. Jew president. He right. was a Jew. Do you know he was gay? Abe Lincoln was a gay Jew. Mm-hmm. He was a gay Jew. He kept his money under his hat. Kept his money under that big steam pipe hat. That's right. All right, now, seems to me that, mm -hmm. now, from what I understand about you, you're even worse than this other professor. You're not only anti-Jewish, but you're anti-white as well. you damn right. The white man is evil. Mm -hmm. What is he? Evil. What they do? They smile in your face. They all the time try to take your place. The backstabbers. I think that's a song. Yeah, that, that's right. <laughs> now, are you saying that all white men are evil? No, I, I never said that. Holland Doja Holland said that. <laughs> Who said that? Holland Doja Holland. Mm hmm. That was I another see, professor. Yes, I know. The guy wrote that song. That was another professor I work with. I see. Now, are you saying that all white men are evil? Did I say that? Mm hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, there you go, putting them filthy white words of yours in my black, beautiful mouth. Mm hmm. Now, I'm not putting any words in so your mouth. So he's like the devil twisting your words. The white devil. <laughs> Look at here, boy. Yeah. Look at here, girl. <laughs> the black man has been exploited ever since we discovered gravity. Now, you claim... Gravity. Now, I read about we this. We discovered gravity. You, just, you say the black man discovered gravity. That's right. The white devil, Newton, mm -hmm. was paid for the discovery of gravity, mm -hmm. and the black man received nothing. Okay. The laws of gravity am the greatest law that there is, because that am the law the black man cannot break. All right, you're, now, you respect the laws of gravity because the black man can't break them? We, as an African race, tried so hard in deepest Gothic Africa to break the law of gravity. We throw the spear up in the air and it come down. Mm -hmm. Now, as many times... Mm -hmm. So, as many times as you throw your spears up in the air, they would all fall to the ground. Bing, bam, boom, now, look out. Now, wait, now, let me understand something. Wow! Now, how did that do that? <laughs> all right, now, listen, you say... You say you say who, that who that cackling in the background? That's um, and that Jackie the Jew man Martling. <laughs> He's Jewish too. <laughs> Another Jew running the media. All right, listen. Let's forget about Jackie and let's talk mm. about racism. Racism. You say you teach this stuff in a legitimate college, right? That's right. You go back in your history, and you will see that the black man invented peanut butter. Peanut yeah. butter. Hey, honey. Excuse me, honey. What what that peanut invention? Right. Mm hmm. Skip it. Skip it. They invented Skip it. <laughs> hey, baby, who's, who's the man who invented the peanut butter? <laughs> That's right. George Washington Cartwright. <laughs> All right. Now, listen, who's that woman in the background there? Yes, yeah, that's my, my, my African proud rhinoceros zebra woman. <laughs> All right. Now, listen, I want you to get serious for a minute. Yeah, I'm going to be Wasn't serious. Wasn't George Washington Carver, by the way? George Washington Carver? No, it was George Washington Cartwright. All right. Now, listen to me. I'm, I'm very serious about all of this. Mm-hmm. Now, 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 I want you to get serious with us. I'm going to get serious with you. I am serious. Now, see, your peanut butter, the blood transfusion, and the sailboat were invented by the black man. The sailboat? I never heard that the black man invented the sailboat. Oh, man. Of course you didn't know about this. See, they try to hide this information from you, my man. See, we were too lazy to row the boat, so we invented the sailboat. And then the white man see us in the boat, and he done invent the yacht club to keep the black man out. I think I understand that for <laughs> sure. How about how you do that? Wow! I think I understand what you're saying. Yeah, now you understand. Right. Mm-hmm. Now you're beginning to see the African studies. The hurricane that uh, you white people just had? The hurricane, hurricane Bob? Well, what do you say you white people just had? Hurricane was only for white people? That's right. What do you mean Damn by Damn right. Why, well, of course. You see, you named the Hurricane Bob. Mm -hmm. The blacks had nothing to do with that. You named Hurricane Bob because that's a whitey name. Mm -hmm. Bob. <laughs> what the hell is that? A hurricane is a proud force of fury of nature, like a rhino in the jungles. Why can't they give the hurricane a black name, like 
Kudzu de Bozu. <laughs> well, listen, let me just get through this real quick here. You were Hurricane quoted. Kudzu. Yeah, the, the, Kudzu de Bozu. That's right. Hurricane Kudzu de Bozu. <laughs> name the African name. Named name after that man accused of um, molesting his, his, his adopted children. children. Yeah. Don't matter. It's a good name. All right, now listen. An African name. All right. A black name. All it's right. a black thing you wouldn't understand. All right, now listen to me. All right, because you're becoming increasingly incoherent. <laughs> mm. You were quoted as saying that the Jews control the movies. Can you tell us about that? Well, ch 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 check out the names of the major studios. Right. It's all there. Mm -hmm. MGM. That? MGM. That's Metro Golda Meir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, now they done create the Sambo-like image and the step and fetch it image. Mm -hmm. I'm so mad. Yeah. Look here. I'm sick of hearing about the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. Just like the Jews to keep talking about the cost. Oh. Every minute, how much do it cost? It's the whole cost. Mm -mm. Well, if it costs so much, why are they always referring to it? Who do I care what it costs? All right, I think you're confused. You're saying the Holocaust? Is, 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 the you're Jews tired are of it. Talking about the, how much it costs. That's right. That's right, a Jew thing. Right, now, you I do say, understand. I'm sure everyone in the audience is saying they have never heard such despicable hatred from a professor before. Yeah, what about your ruckus with Bon Jovi, that Jew? <laughs> All right, listen You're here. Right. Well, look, Boana, I hate the white man. Mm -hmm. I hate white skin. Mm -hmm. I never wish to bother with white skin again. Of course, it happens to be on the frame of a big, uh, plump white ass like Margot Hemingway or Jamie Lee Coitus. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, now listen to me. <laughs> That's Jamie Lee Coitus. Jamie Lee Coitus. Coit Coit All right, listen, no one is interested in any of your racist garbage, Professor. I'm sure. Of that. Now, where's my bongo? Mm -hmm. my, where's my bongo? You need a bongo for what? Why don't you ask your girlfriend for the bongo? Here's my bongo right here. Where you find your bongo? Yeah, where you my bongo? Because I'd be happy to do my poetry. Uh-oh. I see. This is the greatest African instrument there is. Mm -hmm. Like so many before me, I will now raise your consciousness through rhyme. Right, you're going to do some African poetry. Yowza. All right. <laughs> Yowza. Yowza. <laughs> All right, let me hear some of this, and this will enlighten us. A tisket. A tasket. What am I? Another black bastard? Who but the black man has all been so put down? And why? Is it because of a skin color so deep, dark, and brown? My nose am flat. Our lips, they be thicker. Is that why we play ball better? Is that why we be quicker? Uh, I've had enough of this. They don't like the white man. He forced black man to steal. To make making pancakes and get in line for a meal. <laughs> All right. My blackness is my pride. My blackness is so fine. To hell with the white man. I need a bottle of wine. Oh, All right. Wow. All right. Who's playing? Who is this? Who's playing ping pong in the background there? Sounds like someone playing ping pong. I'm going to run for president. All right. Thank you, Professor. I'm going to run for president like Joe Walsh. All right. There he is, Professor. Oh. We never did find out his name. No, I don't think he has a name. He's a professor, and, uh, though. I and don't think he has a school. A lot of these professors have uh, racist attitudes. What can you do? And they, they're teaching it. <laughs> and we'll be back right after these words.